11 years, UNM's athletic director says now is the time. Paul Krebs announced he's retiring today and his departure comes at a tumultuous time. He says he doesn't want to be a distraction. UNM Vice President for Athletics Paul Krebs is out. I've actually been in discussions with the university leadership on and off over the last year uh, about my desire to retire. Krebs says he believes his retirement at this time is in his best interest and the university's in light of recent events. UNM Athletic Director Paul Krebs has been keeping a secret under wraps for two years. A News 13 Larry Barker investigation uncovered questionable spending of public money. Add it all up and the public shelled out some $64,000 for a golfing holiday in Scotland. Larry's two reports exposed UNM's athletic department paying for three UNM officials and three private citizens to golf in Scotland. I have no regrets about the trip. The, the individuals that we took on the trip cumulative, cumulatively have donated over $10 million to the university o over the years. News of that ill-fated golf trip teed off a state investigation. Would I do the trip again? Uh, would I do things differently? Uh, I'd, I'd probably do a few things differently. But as it uh, relates to the auditor, uh, I have nothing to hide. He's talking about state auditor Tim Keller. We've got to understand, look, that our money's being used in the most appropriate way, and hopefully our audit will show that, and if it's not, uh, we'll bring accountability to the folks involved. Keller's probe is looking at all UNM senior athletic staff, including coaches. For now, Krebs leaves with 57 Mountain West titles under his leadership. It doesn't surprise me that he's putting the university and our 450 student athletes ahead of him. That's not a shock at all. I see where, where the optics might look a little strange, but he goes out with his head held high, and he should. I leave here with a great sense of pride. Uh, I'm incredibly proud of all that we've accomplished. Krebs made more than $400,000 a year. His last day is officially June 30th. Krebs won't be off the hook by retiring if wrongdoing is found. Attorney General Hector Baldera said in a statement that their investigation is also ongoing, adding, even if a public official leaves office, they can still face legal consequences for actions they took while in office. Paul Krebs' track record at UNM has cost the university a lot. Hopes were high four years ago when Krebs did the expected and named Craig Neal the new Lobo basketball coach, but with losses mounting and the lowest attendance in years, Krebs made the expensive decision to fire Neal, triggering his million dollar buyout. Look good in red or in cherry, don't I? I look good in cherry. Krebs' most disastrous decision was forcing out successful football coach Rocky Long in 2008, costing almost a million dollars to hire Mike Loxley. The Loxley era made UNM the laughing stock of college football and landed Krebs in trouble after he gave Loxley a slap on the wrist when the coach was accused of punching one of his assistants. Of course, Krebs had his highlights too. The Steve Alford hire a decade ago put Lobo basketball back on the map and put Lobo fans back in the seats.